In our previous lesson, we learned that gentle means will often succeed, where forcible ones will fail. Sometimes, taking your time is just the way to go, and sometimes being forcible is not good. Are you ready for this next lesson? I sure am. Hello, welcome to the McGuffey's Online Tutor. Today's lesson comes from the McGuffey's Third Eclectic Reader, the revised edition. Lesson 23, Sunset. Let's look at our vocabulary words for today. They are, sinking, to descend to the bottom, streamlet, a small stream, sweetness, pleasing to the mind or feelings, cowslip, a Eurasian primrose. There are only four vocabulary words in today's lesson, therefore, to make it more interesting, I would like for you to find pictures of these words and show them to your family and friends. Let's get reading. Today's reading is a poem, and the name of the poem is Sunset. Now the sun is sinking in the golden west. Birds and bees and children all have gone to rest, and the merry streamlet, as it runs along, with a voice of sweetness, sing its evening. Song, cowslip, daisy, violet, in their little beds, all among the grasses, hide their heavy heads. There they loll, sweet darlings, lie in the happy dreams, till the rosy morning wakes them with its beams. What a short, lovely poem. Since it's so short, why don't you try and memorize it? I certainly have it all memorized. It is a very nice poem, because it tells us how wonderful and complex God is. God created the sun. The sun was created by God to shine light on this earth. The sun is amazing, sunset is beautiful, only God can create such a thing. Always remember that even though God appointed the sun to govern the light, God created the light and controls it. God is the one true light of creation. I'm going to read the poem one more time. This time, join me in reading it. If you don't have the book, you may read the poem in the description below. Let's do it. Sunset. Now the sun is sinking in the golden west. Birds and bees and children all have gone to rest, and the merry streamlet, as it runs along, with a voice of sweetness, sing its evening song. Cowslip, daisy, violet, in their little beds, all among the grasses, hide their heavy heads. There they loll, sweet darlings, lie in the happy dreams, till the rosy morning wakes them with its beams. Well done. Now, try and see if you can memorize it. Well, this is the end of our lesson, and I hope you visit us again at the McGuffey'sOnlineTutor.com for more lessons and worksheets. Goodbye.